all right so welcome back um this video i just want to show a couple things i forgot to show the first time um with enhanced ik everything is still animatable everything um all the gizmos and mechanisms that make enhanced ik work happen underneath our main controller so you could see that it's still being automated so if i bring it up here I could still rotate it to negative 25. I could turn it on and off just as well. So just because it's automated doesn't mean that any control is lost. The animator can still animate on top of it. Turn off the controller. So if you wanted to turn off the auto shoulder bend. You can now move this up. Let's bring it in a little bit. Move the elbow and nothing happens. But once the bend is turned on, you can see how it will control the clavicle. So that's just something that I want to go over very quickly. Um, and pretty much everything else works the way you would expect it to. The world node moves everything still, rotates it. Everything still works just as it normally would. So with that, um, I will catch you in the next video. I think that's the last thing I wanted to show you except for uh, another aspect of this rig. is that you get slightly better results from using translations let's smooth this out so you can see it so you get slightly better results from translations than rotations um, that's just because of the way the nodes were set up underneath uh, while that's going on, this still works. So you're not losing anything. It's always about gaining more control. So with that, I will catch you in the next video.